Teddy TV today. Um, I wanted to start by asking, I think this is a quite a long-term sort of research project for you. Why did you particularly want to tell this story? Because uh, I thought, you know, Elisa and Marcela, it's a wonderful story. I mean, the fact these two women, and when, we, and when you see that these little villages in the middle of nowhere, they leave and, and, and the things they had to do and accomplish just to be together. Um, it's, it's, I, when I found the story, it was like, okay, I have to make a film of this. I just, I have to. And, you know, I, funny enough, I, th I thought it was going to be easy. I thought, you know, everybody's gonna share my passion for the story, but it wasn't, you know? I, I think many, many producers were involved at the beginning and they tried to find it, to, to find finance for the film, but, you know, they didn't succeed. And, um, and but you know, uh, and of course I work, I work in other projects all this time, but that story was always in the back of my mind. I really wanted to tell that story. I think it's a story it's worth to be told and, and people have to know it. And a lot of your films focus on strong women, but I think this is the first time you focused on a strong gay women. Was that something you'd wanted to do for a while? Uh, Mm, I don't know, you know, I'm, I think, you know, probably because I, I live surrounded by, by gay couples and trans couples and a lot of very different couples in my life, I, for me was very, you know, it was, it was very natural just to, to, to tell their story and, and that's what I was, you know, I, I wanted to do it for a long time, but it's true, this time it's very, very specific about it. But even in, in my first film, Things I Never Told You, there was a trans character played by Debbie Mazur. And, and, and in this film, it was uh, Alexis Arquette, who was a really, really good friend of mine, who, you know, who died two years ago. And, and, and it was funny for me make him play a, a, a straight, character and, and Debbie, who is a woman, uh, play a, a, a trans, uh, because five years later, Alexis was a woman, and, and I knew, I knew his desire for, to do that, and I don't know. For me, it's very, you know, it's, it's, it's life, that's all. And you think of a period drama, you don't necessarily think of, of this kind of content, uh, and I thought that the sex scenes were very, they got kind of very much focused on female sexual pleasure in a way that many other sex scenes and other films don't. Um, what was your thinking when you, when you were planning the sex scenes? I, it's, it's funny because even in a very, the moment I see a film, and the moment I see a sex scene in a, in a film, I know if there is a female gaze or a male gaze. It's very easy. I mean, when you see, you know, for instance, one of the most famous films about you know two women in love, uh, L'Histoire d'Adèle, no, uh, Blue was the warmest color, I think it was in English. Um, I think you can tell there is there is a male gaze there. There is something. For me, it was quite shocking. Not because it was shocking they were making love. It was was like, I don't know if if I was shooting that scene, that's not where I would put the camera. That's not what I want to want to show. And for me, it was important to to really. Aff it was important to affirm my female gaze, but at the same time, it was very natural. I I really I really put myself in the skin of the, these two women, and 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 I really wanted to show, you know, what kind of relationship they have, the fun they can have with their bodies, but but the same time, you know, the, the everybody involved in, in, in the film or the technical uh, and artistic department were women and and I think that made the shooting that scenes, you know, very very easy, very fun and and beautiful. And the film is distributed by uh, Netflix. I wondered if you thought that sort of home streaming platforms are actually changing um, opportunities for female directors and maybe for queer film. 
I think so. I think um, the most important thing is, I mean, for me, the, the you know, what, what, what will be my, my dream, no? If Elisa and Marcela, it's a film who can be seen in countries where, you know, as we say at the end of the film, there are countries where, you know, you kiss a, you kiss a girl and you go to prison. Um, so I think that the opportunity to, for this film to be shown in countries in, in where all these things are still, you know, we're talking about 1901, are still, you know, uh, taboo and, and forbidden by, law, by the law. I think, I think it's a great opportunity, you know, and I, I wish, you know, I wish women in, in Saudi Arabia would be able to drive and watch Elisa and Marcela. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you.